Today I have to fix the cuckoo clock and I'm gonna fix it with Home Assistant 115.3. Check it out. So I've been running this cuckoo clock for, I don't know, I guess about four or five years. What it does is it's an automation. It's actually a digital cuckoo clock. So it's an automation that runs every hour and uh, every and every half hour and on the hour it will chime or cuckoo the number of Hours it is so at 2 o'clock it cuckoos twice at 4 o'clock it cuckoos four times when I upgraded to 115.2 It stopped working actually it stopped working at 115 um, Actually, let me show you So if we jump over to my repo, you can see I have an issue here um, Richard actually Richard let me know. I didn't even know that this was a problem, but what was basically happening was we were starting to get the Kugu automation was running on the hour and then it was running three minutes later. And I couldn't quite figure out why. So when I looked into the automation, here's the automation that runs. Basically, it was a time pattern and it would run on zero minutes, so that the idea behind that would be at one o'clock, there would be a zero, so it would run two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, et cetera. And then at 30 minutes, it would also run. We have some basic time conditions in here, um, but none of these would prevent it from running. And more importantly, none of these would make it run three minutes later. So I was super, super confused. But what would happen is it would trigger. And then what we're doing here is we're just looking at the time. So we basically go through the, we, we, we validate the conditions. We turn on the amp that we're running. Uh, we make sure that nothing else is running across the house. So we make sure that the state is not playing. So this way, in case Joanna is saying something in the house, we don't want to cut her off. So we just wait for it to finish. And then we launch the cuckoo clock after. And then it just basically does a simple play media. Um, we're looking at the time and basically, where is it? So we're right here, we're looking at the time that says, if it ends on 30, then play one cuckoo, and otherwise just play whatever the hour is. So if it's two o'clock, play the, play the two o'clock uh, cuckoo, four o'clock, six o'clock, et cetera. So it's a really straightforward application or you know, automation, I should say, really straightforward. So let's go back and just take a look at what the problem was. It was launching correctly on the hour, but then three minutes later it was launching. So here we have 30. The, this is actually a corrected version. The original version of this looked like this. It had these quotes around it. Uh, whoops, they were actually single quotes. So we had these single quotes around the time pattern. So. What I figured out, I'll spare you all the gory details and all the testing that we did, but what we figured out was it was launching correctly on the zero, but it was reading just the three here. So basically three minutes later, it would trigger again. Uh, if we look if we look at the case notes, so here's here is the basic uh, issue that I created. Um, I ran through some of these tests, but you can see it basically, to test it, I switched it to 50. So I wanted to see if the five would kick in and you could see this, the, the, uh, the logbook was a great way to troubleshoot this. I basically just filtered it for cuckoo clock and then it would just show all of my cuckoo clock. I'm not sure why I showed these, but it would show the cuckoo clock. So you could see it launched at four o'clock and then it would launch five minutes later. So it was just reading the first digit. Um, I did some more testing and the answer was I basically just took the quotes out. So. Uh, taking the quotes out, fixed it. Now, I mentioned 1153. So during this whole thing, I did open up a case with, uh, where is it? I did open up a case on Home Assistant. So whenever you have a problem, oops, whenever you have a problem with Home Assistant, it's always good. If you have an actual error, it's always good to raise an issue on their official repo. So that's exactly what I did. I went over here and we put, uh, I, I put what I thought the problem was. I gave them all the information. And then I guess a day or so later, it was fixed. So that was great. It was confirmed that when it was a string, they were just taking the first digit and uh, it was fixed and it was merged. So part of the 
fixes this time pattern behavior. So whether you, whether you, let's jump back here, whether you have it in quotes or out of quotes, it will, uh, it'll behave appropriately. For me, I'm gonna leave it out of quotes because one, I like the way it looks and just less quotes, the better, because it does get confusing with single ticks and double quotes, but this was great. So I've since upgraded to 1153. Google Clock is working. If you want to run this, you can basically take this package right out. I'm referencing publicly available. These are these these wave files are just on my repo. So I pull them down every single time. So every, you know, twice an hour, it just reads it off the internet, plays it, works great. You can run the same thing if you want this for your house. You can just take this package from my repo. I'll put some links in the description. You can drop the package right into your home assistant and it should work. It'll pull these. You can also just take these WAV files and put them on your local repo or use the new play media, use the new media feature and you can put, um, you can put it on the local media as well. But I'm glad it's fixed. I do like it. It was weird not having it. Uh, hopefully you guys like it and I'll talk to you soon.